set up for 250 pounds. Plenty of places to cook, plenty of places to throw your blender for your margaritas. <laughs> It's the party mobile. That's where the coffee maker's That's going. Coffee maker. <laughs> yeah, that 1500 watt coffee maker. You better have a good sized battery. But anyway, so that's how I went ahead and laid this out with a nice little decorative handle on here. There's double lids. You can go ahead and drop your refrigerator in here, your sleeping bags, your, your power packs. Any bulky items that you really don't want to be dealing with, go ahead and put them right in there. Hey, welcome to another episode of Season Shredder. I am Randy. This is my new friend, Jared Sturgis. He's out of California. I'm out of Atlanta, Georgia. We just drove all the way to Santa Rosa, New Mexico to meet up so I can deliver two custom car built sleeper campers for his Honda Element and his buddy's Honda Element. Jared, good to meet you. Good Thanks for driving and meeting me. I know it's a crazy drive to yeah. drive halfway across the country, but when you want to be a car camper in a Honda Element, that's what you got to do sometimes. Yep, you got to make the distance. <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly what we did. We decided to meet halfway and we just picked Santa Rosa right in front of the uh, Santa Rosa 66 Car Museum. All right, so how, how did we get to this point? This was a two month process. Jerry and I started talking around January 11th off of Facebook, the marketplace, about finding a couple build outs. So we contacted each other and we just started talking by chat and then we finally just exchanged some phone numbers. And after two months of literally figuring out what he wanted, he wanted to be able to put in refrigerators with accesses in the front. He wanted to be able to have a foot extension so you could put another 12 inch mattress so we could bring out this six feet of solid mattress. So all of this was discussed by the phone. And while we were on the phone, I was building it and just doing mock buildups for him. So after two months, we are finally handing it off to Mr. Jared here. This is the end result. And his buddy there. <laughs> And we'll be heading to California. And then, like I said, he's going to be doing some pretty good camp outs, I hope, out there in Joshua Tree and uh, by the beach. By the beach. Yep. And, you know, and then eventually, once I get another set built, because I sold all mine, <laughs> I'll come out west and maybe hook up with the West Coasters out here. There we go. Season Shredders. So the object today is we're going to remove both of these car campers and we're going to go ahead and install them in his Honda Element there and that way he can go back to California and deliver it to his buddy and I head back to Atlanta, Georgia to make some more. This is going to be a different video. <laughs> yeah. Well, I said that'd be cool to like schedule it to where they have the big meetups, you know, yeah. and try to make it out for that. <laughs> that is just crazy. All that space, you know. <laughs> I don't have that. Yeah. Oh, I'm so jealous of you guys with the 2003s and the sixes. You need to uh, upgrade your element to uh, an earlier model. I need to dump that thing. <laughs> oh man, you know that's amazing. You saw what it takes to put it in and out. Yeah. I'm gonna grab this side. Ready? Yep. Okay, all we got to do now is go ahead and drop four bolts in there, which will hold everything together. All right, so the way I designed this, this is the mattress uh, platform. Just got to line it up with the grooves in the cabinet, in the face. There's three bolts. They go around the top here. 
Same thing, they bolt right on through, which keeps the top one in place. And there's one in the back. Dead All right, dead. go for it. Okay, so I went ahead and made custom mattresses, four inch mattresses. There's a notch side here to the left, which catches this little concave right in here. That's a left, right side mattress. Goes right in here. I built it 45 inches wide. So you're not gonna be losing your cell phone. You're not gonna be losing your keys down here. It is super tight, which keeps the mattresses in place. This has a, a front and the back. Doesn't really matter, it's just front and back. Left or right, doesn't matter. Okay, you ready? Yep. And they're pretty much like mirrored versions of each other, right? Yes, everything is mirrored on here. It's all the same. So this is a front to back. This goes right in there. My friend will go ahead and straighten them out. Front to back. This is your midsection for where your refrigerator is. This is the actual travel setup right now. This is 50, 57 inches. And with the 2003 to 2006, you can do this. 2007 to 2011, you cannot do this. It's gonna be jammed in. They have a console right here, and the console hits this. So if I'm gonna ever make another one that's at 2007 above, this has to be modified to fit around this console. But with this 2000, what year is it? Oh, this is an 03. With this 03, you have enough room, pull your seats forward, you can actually get a foot extension on here, left and right, so it gives you your tire six feet. So now you have mattresses from front to back. And he says it's basically the size of like a twin size bed, correct? Twin size bed, just a hair under a twin size, twin size 54. This is a, this is 52. So I go ahead and if you want, you pull your seat back just a little bit. Now your mattresses are all locked in place and they're not gonna separate. You're not gonna find yourself falling through the cracks because your seat will hold in place because you're at six feet now. And that's that. So in order, so when you get up in the morning, Move one mattresses. Reach under here. Drop the foot. Step out. I wish the 2007 had this room because I found myself stuck in my car the other night. I couldn't <laughs> get out because I had two of these of mine. This is the lifesaver. That is the full build out. This plan, this is the Addy Weekend Road Adventure Plan, named after my brother in law. One of the features with the actual box that I designed here is in the center. You go ahead and you move your mattresses back, get them out of your, get them out of your way, and you can open up these lids. There's double lids. You can go ahead and drop your refrigerator in here, your sleeping bags, your, your power packs, any bulky items that you really don't want to be dealing with, go ahead and put them right in there. Any wiring that you need to feed to the back goes right through here. It goes through the porthole. They go through the drawers, out the back. So that way, only time you need to get in here when you want to get your ice cold beer or your cold margarita mix or your hamburger or your steak, whatever, whatever you're cooking at night. But you do have access on the small portholes on the side, little things like extra blankets, whatever you want to put in there. But this has to be down in order to open this up. I had to give, I had to give somewhere, but this had to be removed. This has to be lowered. So, and when, whenever you're ready, just go ahead and put your mattresses back on after your cooler and your power packs have all been installed. Slide your seats back, travel mode, and you're ready to go. And that is everything. Now, if you are interested in me building a custom camper design for your car, all you have to do is meet me at Season Shredders on my YouTube channel, Season, S-E-A-S-O-N-E-D, Shredders. 
S H R E D D E R S, Season Shredders at YouTube. Leave me a message, I will always get back to you. And while you're on there, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I will contact you back and I'll build you whatever you need for your little Honda Element or any other type of car custom. All right, thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you liked it. Okay, so we got the complete bed set up inside with the mattresses and all the boxes are secured. So now we have the actual storage boxes that fit right on the edge of this door. No binding. I went ahead and I built these boxes with a 250 pound uh, drawer slide. Locks in place. Lid, take the lid off. All your camp gear goes in here, your stove, your food, any extra supplies that you want out of the way. Like in the morning time, get your stove out, get your cookware out, you can cook right here. I gave yourself a little panel hole here and the access hole if you want to pull wires through here, maybe have a coffee pot going or something that's an electrical runoff of your little power pack. It locks in place, it locks with a travel. They're both, both set up with 250 pounds. Plenty of places to cook, plenty of places to throw your blender for your margaritas. <laughs> it's the party mobile. That's where the coffee maker's yeah, going. Coffee maker. <laughs> yeah, that 1500 watt coffee maker. You better have a good size battery. But anyway, so that's how I went ahead and laid this out with a nice little decorative handle on here. That's it, everything's locked in place for travel. Close this right back up. It's like a glue, let's say. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching this video. His name is Jared. Go ahead and find him on Element Twins. Element Twins. You can there you find go. me on Season Shredders. Thumbs up. All the good pictures. There you go. <laughs>